Hi guys and welcome to my first video on YouTube. My name is Kenneth and I'm located in Norway as the name of the channel implies and as you can probably hear from my accent as well. Um, I primarily like to, to build chip models in 1 to 200 scale but I finally got hold of this Trumpeter Admiral Graf Spe kit in 1 350 scale. So today I will be unboxing the kit and I wanted to post this video since I didn't find much information about the kit myself on YouTube. Um, I also just recently received uh, the detail up um, set from Pontos for this model that was just recently uh, um, released that I will also be making an unboxing video of. I think that um, the Admiral Graf Speer pocket battleship has an interesting history and uh, it, it was important for how the Germans developed their navy in the 30s leading up to the war and the impact it had in the beginning of the war. But um, this won't be a history lesson so let's open up the kit and see what we've got inside. As we can see from the details on the outside, the length of the, uh, the model is 53 centimeters and the beam is 6.1 centimeters. Contains over 400 parts. So let's open up and see what we've got inside. The, the first um, part that we see here is the hull itself, which is in two parts and it then is a full hull model. I also see that you have the possibility to do a waterline model with, with this kit part. So we need to do some uh, gluing here, some uh, Putty needs to be done and some uh, some sanding to get this in a good shape, I think. Then we have a couple of sprues. So this is the, the main tower, some parts of the superstructure. And on the other side here, there are some parts of the tunnel, decking parts and more of the superstructure. So that's two frets in one, sorry, spruce. Then um, there are some other details here. It looks like parts for the propellers. Yeah, and then we have the the nameplate for the model itself. Then it looks like we have two similar sprues with the, uh, the um, life bolts or tenders and some small parts as well. There are not that much detail in the in the tenders, but I think um, that um, it will be a lot better when using the Pontos uh, detail upset. And then it looks like we have the different turrets and guns and the torpedoes. And we have the turret tower. So um, the Graf Speer had like six 280 millimeter guns, like the main armament. I think it was eight 150 millimeters, but it's the secondary armament. And um, it had a lot of anti-aircraft guns, both 105 millimeters, 80, uh, 37 and, and uh, 20 millimeters. So it was quite heavily armed for uh, being a, a um, pocket battleship and at least with the 280 millimeters that that was quite a lot for our, for such a small battleship then it looks like we have um, parts of the decking the 
looks quite nice, but I think that uh, using the wooden deck from Pontos will definitely improve how the decking looks. Then um, there are some decals. With the swastika, of course, not being fully visible, but you can, you can fix that if you want to. Um, there isn't a lot of photo etch in this kit, just two frets, not too impressive, but at least you have this one that's going back on the stern. And then you have the, um, the turrets for the one, um, 150 millimeters. Nice enough. You can see some rivet details and yeah, it's not too bad. And I guess this is for the one uh, 105 millimeter anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, and then we have the biplane. Um, that was a Heineco. Uh, HE60 um, that was used as a reconnaissance plane uh, and as far as I remember from the history that was a uh, early type and they had a lot of problems with it but um, nice little detail there and then we have the stand it looks like And then more of the decking. Yes, let's take a look at the guide, the building guide. So just clean a bit here. all trumpeter kits you start with uh, the overview of the of the parts and then of course the, um, the painting and marking guide it's quite nice it looks like it has both um, with camouflage and non camouflage and then you have the different suggestions for paint colors. I think I will be going for um, some colors from, from Live Color. I think that will be uh, quite nice with uh, the set they have. Otherwise, Uh, the normal uh, way of how trumpet to dust does their um, their manuals making sub assemblies then putting them into into the bigger structures looks fairly neat so Putting together the, the funnel, the, the, the tower, superstructure parts. More of the superstructure. And then you have the complete assembly of the superstructure before you add it to the hull. Then you have the different gun turrets that are being placed on as well. There you have the, the not sure what it's called for the plane. Pardon that being Norwegian, not always remembering the words. Then you have the life uh, lifeboats and tenders for 
ending up with the plane itself. The propellers and the propeller shafts and the rudder. And then uh, for the final assembly of the stand with the model itself, depending on if you're going for a waterline model or or with the entire hull. I'm not sure I would do it in this order though, but um, let's see if I will make a build blog if that's interesting as well for you guys. Yeah, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe. Thank you.